Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video, I'm going to be restoring and customizing a Hot Wheels Jaguar D-Type. Hot Wheels produced these from 1998 until 2003. And this is a 1999 version. The real D-Type was produced by Jaguar from 19. 54 until 1957 and was originally designed to win the Le Mans 24-hour race and of course they took this styling and copied it to design the E-Type. Taking a closer look at our example off the turntable here, it's sure looking like a bit of a die-cast disaster with that paint job. About half of it's been chipped off, all those tampos are fairly ruined. The steering wheel there has been bent down. A few nice details on the bottom of it there. Those wheels are looking pretty worn out and shabby. Lost all their chrome off of them. But under that, there's that nice D-type body shape. So let's see if we can make it look a bit better. I'll start by drilling out the two posts and then I can take it all apart. I'll just take the wheels and axles out of the chassis there before I go to paint strip it. Now I can use some poly stripper, I'll just paint it on there and it melts all the paint off. Then I can wash it away with some water and this is what I'm left with. It's a few scraps of paint on there and a little bit of oxidation, so I'll give them a clean up with the wire brush on my rotary tool. And here they are looking a lot cleaner and shinier. Just before I paint them I'll drill and tap the posts on the body there. This way I can screw it back together later with a couple of little button head screws. There we go, with that done I can now start painting them. I'll start with some black primer. I'm going to be painting my Jaguar D-Type in a candy racing green. So over the top of that black, I paint them with Vallejo Metal Color Silver. This will give me a nice base for my candy paint. And then they are painted with Vallejo Racing Candy Green. You want to lay your candies on really slowly in a hot room so that they don't get too thick and pull and run. It's actually really hot here in the middle of summer so I managed to do this in two sessions. But normally it would probably take me at least three and maybe four to get a nice smooth coat like this. So there we go after my first session of spraying. I then washed out my brush while this dried a bit. And now I'm doing a second coat. This should give me quite a nice deep green. And of 
course the same process was repeated on the chassis and here they are after painting it with the candy green I then painted in some details, just the rear lights there and the leather straps on the side and gave it a couple of nice coats of gloss. Moving on to the plastic parts now, the interior and the windscreen there. They're a little bit grubby, so the first thing I'll do is give them a wash in some hot soapy water. And here's the interior looking a bit cleaner. Now I don't like that one piece steering wheel there, so I've managed to find a nicer one. Being as it's an open cockpit. I think it'll look better with a decent looking steering wheel. So I'll just cut this one off and use a little bit of my Starbond super glue to glue the new one in place. There we go, that's looking a bit better. And once the glue had fully dried, I gave it a coat of black primer. Next it was painted in metal colour steel. And then I painted in some details like the steering wheel and the dials on the console there, the dash. Yeah, the seat was painted in a dark green. And here it is after I've given it a satin varnish and folded it back together. Onto the windscreen, it's not much wrong with it. It's a little bit chipped and scuffed on top there. So I'll just give that a quick sand with some 1200 grit sandpaper. And then I just gave it the self-shining floor polish treatment. And finally, for these scruffy old wheels, they might have looked all right with those intricate rims and some chrome, but I'm going to be replacing them with some aftermarket ones. And so here we have all of the parts of our Hot Wheels Jaguar D-Type refurbished, repainted and ready to go back together. So while I do that and tighten those button head screws up, 
we can just take a quick look back at what we started with scruffy looking little D type here missing heaps of its paint there particularly at the front those wheels are looking pretty worn out the windscreen was a little scuffed definitely not the state for such a classic British race car to be in let's see what we can do with it and here it is our finished Hot Wheels Jaguar D-Type the old chipped red paint and tampos are long gone replaced with a nice candy racing green and a few little details it's had the cockpit there detailed I suppose you could call it a cockpit, it's like a cockpit. And it's got those fat new wheels on it. They are really tight fit, but they do spin quite well. I'm really pleased with how this classic old race has turned out with that candy racing green. You can let me know what you think in the comments down below. As always, a big thanks to everyone for the nice comments and the likes on my videos. An extra special thanks to my awesome Patreon supporters who help to support the channel. If you'd like to help out as well, you can check out my Patreon page. There's a link in the description below, as well as a link where you can get 10% off Starbond superglue and accelerators. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you'd like to see more like it, remember to subscribe and click the bell so that you get notifications. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.